Next up, we move to the 63.5 kilogram light welterweight division. And this, a battle between boxers from Namibia and Scotland. What a contest we have in store here. 1st to the ring, boxing Scoring this one are judges corner, from Germany, India, Namibia, Hungary, Korea and Canada. Our Jonas referee is Carl Ruin of Australia. Jonas. Here comes the main man, Jonas Jonas. The reigning Commonwealth Games gold medalist from light welterweight four years ago. In his third Commonwealth Games here, in search of his third consecutive run to the medal rostrum. He was a silver medalist at light welterweight in 2014. Took the Tartan Tornado Josh Taylor to keep him off top spot of the medal rostrum at Josh Taylor's home games in Glasgow. And his He's opponent preparing for his third bout of, the blue of Birmingham corner, 2022. And representing Scotland, Reese Lynch. Reese Lynch turned 21 at the end of July. The man who became Scotland's first senior world championship medalist when he boxed his way to a brilliant bronze in Belgrade at the end of last year. Receiving a slug of water from Craig McAvoy who inserts the mouthpiece. Mike Keane on hand as well in that Scottish corner. He preparing for his fourth, his third contest of Birmingham 2022. And he's been very impressive so far. This is contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first, boxing out of the red corner. Representing Namibia, Jonas Junayas, Jonas. And his opponent, boxing out of the blue corner, representing Scotland, Reese Lynch. It's up. No holding. Up. That's what a contest we have in store here to determine who will go through to the final four in the men's 63.5 kilogram light welterweight division. No seeding in effect here at Birmingham 2022 and this would be a contest worthy of a final it features jonas jonas the reigning champion from the gold coast edition four years ago that's the man wearing red and sporting a copper colored top on his fade for birmingham 2022 his opponent is that the south pole wearing blue is reese lynch of scotland both men decorated during the course of their careers in olympic star boxing good right hand landed from jonas just catching lynch as he was retreating Jonas will soon realise here, Ronald, that he can't afford for Lynch to, to get into his rhythm. A skillful southpaw is Lynch, likes to box for, from um, long range with good jabs, very relaxed guard, and that's part of the trap that he sets. He lowers those hands, he wants you to come forward. He's an out-and-out -out counter puncher, is, is Lynch, but he's very skillful and very talented. And if, he allow, if he's allowed to get into a rhythm, especially using his jab, that's where his success comes from. So Jonas has got to force the pace here. Third bout of Birmingham 2022 for both of these boxers. And in their opening contest on the opening day of action, both of them scoring first round stoppages, wasting no time to open their Commonwealth Games accounts here in the Midlands. They both box very well indeed. To our point, their opponents is a good backhand landed by Jonas, Lynch just backing up, operating as is his one behind a low-held guard, whips in a left-hand bolo shot to the solar plexus of Jonas Jonas, who looks to cut off Lynch's avenue of escape as both men made their way back to centre ring. Good left hand landed again to the body from Lynch. And digging away with that backhand out of his southpaw stance with Jonas trapped on the ropes. Well, Jonas will have to watch out for here as he's coming forward. Lynch occasionally throws a lovely long right hook and he brings you on to that shot. There it was there, um, or, or, or he nearly landed it, should I say, on that occasion. But that's the trap, like I said. That low lead hand, he stays on the outside, invites you in, but as you come forward, then he whips the shots from different angles. And, and as I say, Lynch, very skillful. 
and very content just to stay on the outside and bring his opponent onto shots. So plenty of clinchers punctuating the action here in the closing stages of the first round. Nice movement in the pocket from Lynch to avoid the punches. He made his man miss, but he couldn't make him pay. Backs his man up to the ropes and digging away with punches to the body once again. The left hand is getting through during these entanglements at close range. Oh, now that's a flick of the head from Reese Lynch as the bell sounded. Naughty indeed, but he got away with it. Let's listen in. Too sharp. All right, Reese. Too fast, too sharp. Big deep breath. Good luck. Good luck. Just use the feet a bit better. When you're countering, push in with a counter. We're just going to come in close. Whip two up there, then back out, all right? You're too... I think this is a decent round from Lynch. I think... Jonas just failed to close that gap down with any real uh, effective punches. Yes, he did get away with a little bit, bit naughtiness on the inside, but uh, with the head at the end of the round. But Lynch just demonstrating there also that he's prepared to work in at short range. So he's not just on the outside. I didn't think this fellow had, had, a, had a good round there, um, Ronald. No. Jonas just struggled to close the gap. Let's have a look at the scores. Clean yeah, sweep of the go. cards in favour of Reese Lynch. Busier on the inside and his industry rewarded as he dug away with that left hand. He landed the bolo shot on a couple of occasions from range as well. So into the second round we go, just as we're able to bring you the scores from Hall 4 here at the National Exhibition Centre. The coaches in receipt of them as, uh, receipt of them as, as well and they will let their boxers know. So Jonas, Jonas has got to get on the front foot and try and close the gap against the South Paul Reese Lynch, but that could well play right into Reese Lynch's wheelhouse. He's a terrific punch pickup, particularly on the back foot. What can Jonas Jonas do to get his own offense away? So time called by referee Carl Ruin because the belt line must be visible. And as we've said before, that's not just a fashion statement, it's to help judges determine whether blows are fair or foul, hence the common expression below the belt. Yeah, the, the target here for Lynch is to frustrate um, Jonas, who's who's strong defending champion, who's fought against many, many styles, but this is a difficult style in front of him. So Lynch has got to frustrate him, make sure he comes forward, and as he comes forward, just catch him with counters. But it's important that he tries to stay in the centre of the ring and boxing ring space. If you allow Jonas to push you back to the ropes, that's where he'll work away at the body and he'll have a bit more success. So ring position, absolutely crucial here for Lynch. Left hand landed by Reese Lynch as it's physical on the inside once again. Now Jonas is trying to work away after being outworked at close quarters in round number one. Big left hand goes over the top from Reese Lynch. Pecking right jab is a scoring shot as is the follow-up right jab. Jonas coming forward but he's being made to miss. And then another tangle occurs on the ropes. Yeah, halfway good, through the second round. Good work on the inside there from Lynch. Good movement with the head. Made his opponent miss. He didn't make him pay, however. But nevertheless, showing good defensive skills. And again, he's tricky to nail with the shot, is Lynch. Those hands are low. And then you think you can catch him, but he's gone. He brings you on to shots. He's fast. And his movement's good also. Well... Both boxers have been spoken to on numerous occasions for various infringements. They won't want to pick up a warning from the referee. And that's the head butt from Reese Lynch during that coming together. Jonas, Jonas showing bad body language, turning away. Protect yourself at all times is the referee's mantra. And while he was wincing and turning his head, Reese Lynch helped himself to another shot. The referee didn't call stop or butt or break. Reese Lynch well within his rights to do so. A bit of shoulder went in there from Lynch as well. But, you know, he's got away with it. He's up oh, that's a nice right uppercut from Jonas on the back foot he's as up, Lynch came inside. He's up for the fight here, Lynch, and at the end of the day, it is a fight. He's got away with, it, with a few things. But you just got to get on with it. And there's been no moaning from Jonas as such. But yeah, it's getting a little bit scrappy now. I think Lynch feels that, he, that he's winning this contest, so he's just holding a little bit longer on the inside than what he probably should. Hitting on the break from Jonas. Jonas. Oh, and he's being docked a point for that. Well, I think Jonas Jonas is a little unlucky here in the sense that Reese Lynch 
has breached some of the rules as well. But Jonas Jonas caught with his hand in the cookie jar. A shot after the commander break landed right on the bell. So whatever score he has amassed and accrued in the second round will be subject to minus one. The reigning champion has got a mountain to climb going into the third. He's struggling anyway, Ronald, and we spoke about it at the start of the round about frustration, and that's what Lynch is doing. He's totally frustrating a defending champion here. Yes, he's, see, that was the shoulder going in, so that's a little bit naughty for, from Lynch. He gets away with it, and um, Jonas, on the other hand, hits him on the break right in front of the referee, so he didn't get away with it. That's just the way it goes. Oh Sharp. It was sharp. Change direction straight. Change direction straight. All right. He's loose for a breather. You're the Craig McAvoy with the instructions on the inside of the ring. Mike Keane with the ice pack on rim per ring perimeter. Well, those scorecards strike me as rather odd with two completed rounds because the warning hasn't been shown. I'm not missing things there. I mean, Richie did issue a give a give a warning yep. for the break, a shot on the break. That should be 2017 across the board if Reese Lynch swept the second round unanimously. So I think Jonas Jonas, the reigning champion, is trailing by 20 points to 17 for all five scoring judges after he lost the second round 10-9 and he was hit with a warning for hitting on the break. Yeah, he's been a bit unlucky, hasn't he? Reese Lynch, he has, um, he has made a couple of fouls here himself, but he's got away with it, whereas Jonas hasn't. But the tactic for Lynch in and out with the feet, staying on the outside most definitely and frustrating the opponent has worked down to the ground and he was struggling up to that point anyway, Ronald was Jonas, he just can't get to grips with Lynch's style, Lynch is boxing very well on the outside, that's better now from Jonas with, with some good shots but it's been mostly all Lynch here. Flicking right jab, catching Jonas as he advanced, and Jonas showing that gun shield as he bites down and goes in search of his own success. It's physical on the inside once again. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Halfway through the third and final round, Jonas Jonas needs a knockout. He's fed another stiff jab from the kneecap of Reese Lynch, who's using that shot to good effect and maintaining the gap between himself and his opponents showing terrific conditioning to continue to glide around the boxing ring laterally both left and right yeah now the style of boxing for lynch it's it's suiting his style rather down to the ground the way that this contest is going and jonas jonas is really struggling here just can't seem to nail lynch with a good shot having a little bit of more success in this round but the contest is basically won. I think Lynch has just got to stay on the outside and, and, and stay away from his opponent. Lynch. Hands very low and he's frustrating um, Jonas here. Most certainly is and looking to exacerbate that frustration by looking over his shoulder for shots. Now gesticulating and gesturing in his direction. Trying to get under the skin of the reigning champion. Southpaw left not too far away. That right jab was right on the money. And Reese Lynch goading his man now. Jonas Jonas going in pursuit of him because he needs a knockout but he's running out of time in order to land the shot that he requires made to miss repeatedly chasing shadows in the boxing ring as Reese Lynch looks over his shoulder for the shot that was off the mark once again Jonas Jonas incredibly frustrated Caught with a right hand there was Lynch, but made to miss once more. He's physical on the inside once again. And Reese Lynch roars in celebration because he knows in the presence of his teammates that he has gone through to the medal rostrum in the 63.5 kilogram light welterweight division. And he's saying it's his time. Jonas Jonas, the Commonwealth Games King from four years ago, eliminated by a man on the rise, Reese Lynch. We're awaiting official confirmation of the scores, of course. But a rough house affair, but it's Reese Lynch who got the tactic spot on. He got the tactic spot on, Ron, there's no doubt about that. And before this contest, Jonas, for me, is probably the favourite going into this one. But Lynch has boxed a superb contest. First round, he um, kept his opponent at bay counter punch very well this has been a terrific display from lynch total totally frustrated his opponents 
And yet, that's a good performance from him. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision for your winner in the blue corner, representing Scotland, Reese. So there's confirmation Lynch. of a unanimous points decision victory for Reese Lynch over Jonas Jonas of Namibia. The 2018 Commonwealth Games gold medalist eliminated. The conclusion of a very clever physical display by Reese Lynch. Fought on the edge of the rule book at times, but he got his tactics spot on from opening bell to last. Listening to his coaches, Craig McAvoy and Mike Keane, and he has now earned himself a Commonwealth Games medal. The question that remains now is what colour will it be? He goes through to the semi-finals. Jonas Jonas deserves immense credit. Third appearance here at the Commonwealth Games. It's the first time he's left without a medal. But that is because this man, Reese Lynch from Ford House in Scotland, boxed to his game plan from opening bell to last. And he remains in contention for Commonwealth Games gold. Statements here. My time, statements. Come on. At the start of this contest, you would say probably Jonas was a slight favourite, but Lynch set out his stall in that first round. He boxed very well indeed, kept his opponent at bay, off balance, in and out with the feet. Frustrated Jonas in that first round. Jonas came over that front foot too many times, making mistakes in the second. Lynch a little bit lucky. There was a few fouls that went in there, but you know, he's got away with it. But nevertheless, over.